Come on, buddy. Hi, guy. Aren't you so cute? What is going on everybody Z here and welcome to Drake's Hollow. So we're gonna be checking out this game and I think it's gonna become a series because it I, I don't like comparing games But it seems similar-esque to Slime Rancher, but there's like base building involved And there's like a creepy raven with a compass and glowing eyes that we have no idea what's going on uh, It seems simpler similar. So like I said like Slime Rancher uh, base building is involved and defending uh, things are involved and I'm just kind of excited to play it so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more so let's follow this magical raven through the forest now um, I was informed that the tutorial kind of explains the story so normally I play through tutorials beforehand but we're gonna play through this one and hopefully explain the story as we go so like I said make sure you leave a like hit the bell icon to be notified oh ooh. I've got a different path for you. This guy's super creepy. What's this? Uh, okay. All right, let's continue on. Hey, look it. Hey kid, look, I've sent to find, I've been sent to find somebody and I think you're it. Oh, really? Am I the person? Now, I also want to say at the very beginning, this is not a narrative driven game. This is not like a point and click narrative thing. And that's kind of what I thought from it from like the beginning stuff. So uh, once we get into the base building and multiplayer aspect, and uh, it, I, I think it's going to be a great time. I think it's going to be a blast. This door I'm sitting on, uh, going to need you to walk through it. It's not strictly speaking a normal spooky door in the woods, really more of a portal. Some folks on the other side could really use your help. All right. Uh, I can't force you to step through. You got to do that on your own, but I appreciate you deciding fast. My brain is getting foggier the longer I'm on the side. Not going to be able to stick around for much longer. Okay, so it looks like we're in like a different world uh, or we're going to have to go to a different one. This is the wise crow. I'm just saying the glowing eyes does not make it look like somebody you want to follow. Uh, I got to warn you, this could be a one way trip. No telling you how you might get back. It's going to be dangerous. Are you up for adventure? Step on in. Absolutely. Let's go through this magical door. Uh, that doesn't look good. And we're in a bunch of thorns. What a horrible way to die. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Generating world, the hollow. Press space. All right. Oh, oh, we're awake. Where is this place? Where am I? Look at this fancy little backpack that I have. Okay. Uh, all right. So I guess we continue on this way. Wait, what? Hold on. Did I pick that up? Woo! Okay, so there is some world gathering involved. Okay, I like that. I like that. Um, I have also kind of seen a little bit of this, and it looks like you can explore different areas, different world, or not different worlds, but different areas, and like go and collect and build stuff and things like that. I'm, I'm super excited about this, actually. <laughs> oh, you made it much better. Head was fogging up something awful. No offense, but I hate crossing over. Okay, so where am I? Uh, if I'm being honest, I wasn't sure you'd cross. I've been starting to lose hope. Seems like it's on short supply everywhere else these days. These days. Uh, welcome to the hollow. It's seen better days, I'm afraid. This, that's kind of why you're here. Follow me, I'll clarify. Okay, so this is the hollow. It's seen better days. So maybe, um, maybe we're here to like fix the hollow. That could be kind of cool. And like the world could like change as we do stuff. That'd be, uh, that'd be pretty neato. Uh, press space to jump. Okay, so what's this? Uh, I brought you here at the request of an old friend, someone from your side of the hedge from way back. Probably best if you head uh, for from her. Probably best if you just heard from her directly. She left me this note. A note from Sarah Howe. Uh, find someone new. Dear Wise Crow. I know how to help you in the drakes. So the drakes are what we're gonna be farming. So like, you know, slime, rancher, drakes, hollow. The drakes are the critters, are the creatures that we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be interacting with. I'm super excited. Uh, I need you to find a warrior strong of will and body, sensitive to animals. Look for them when the hedge is thin. Uh, bring them to finish what I am too frail to accomplish. They must work with the drakes to build their power and seek out my effects. Hidden from the Terminier. 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 Find them. It's the only way to save the hollow. Yours, Sarah Howe. All right. Let's do this. 
Uh, so here we are. You've got a youthful vigor. We need the hedges was thin. And as evidenced by this here conversation, you got the gift of animal whispering. Okay, cool. I have animal whispering. Come on. I got something I'd like you to try. And some folks I think you should meet. Let's do this. Oh, we're going up here. Okay. Can I take this tire? No. Creepy boat. All right. <gasps> we have a compass. We have a magical compass. All right. So we're going down here. Uh, oh, that's our base place. That's the base place. Okay, let's make our way down there. Ooh, there's so many nasty thorns here. What's up, my dude? Wise Crow, now that I've had uh, a little nature hike, it's time to get to work. I've got a, th a little theory about you. Want to test it out? See, if I really did choose the right person, I think there's more to you than you realize. Best see for yourself. That pile of crystals over there. Get up close. Attune your mind on waking them. See what happens. Is the crow in charge of the thorns? I'm just saying. Like, that just sounds like a bad guy. Okay. Awaken the shrine. Let's do this. Hold E to focus. I'm focusing. We're focused. Extra focus. I'm focusing. I'm focusing so hard right now. Massive amounts of focusing. We did a thing. We did a thing! <gasps> oh, it's our first little drink. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, there's another one. They're so cute. What's up, little drinks? Uh-oh. That's a bad guy, if you guys didn't know that. Hurry, the, the drakes are like, take this stick! Uh, wobbly stick, okay. Uh, press one to select a melee weapon. Press one to equip a melee weapon, I did. All right, where is, there it is. What is this thing? Oh, there's three of them. Oh, they're like demon dogs. All right, it's time to go smack them. Press to attack. They're grunts. Did I get him? Nice. Uh, I got a malachite shard. Does that mean we have aluminum? Or that uh, malachite iron, right? Yes, maybe. Okay, let's talk to this crow. Hello, dude. You've met our esteemed allies, the Drakes, and vanquished a pack of pesky feral. Not too bad, kid. Thanks. I hit him with a stick. I don't think I did a whole lot here, but hey, it is what it is. The Drakes are companion a companionable lot, kind souls unfortunately they've had a rough go ain't what they used to be invaders those termineers the note mentioned made a real mess of things so they're a little skittish around newcomers with a pinch it for brawling you're gonna need to do some legwork to earn their trust the drakes are plenty hungry and thirsty hibernating so long unfortunately it lands no good everything that comes from the ground is blighted inedible you're gonna need something to cleanse things for them to eat okay you look like a crafty sort remember that attunement business with the crystals that right there's your gift with a little focus you can let the drakes know what you need built and they'll hop to it gather up some lumber and build a cleansing cauldron check back with me once it's built and i'll tell you how to use it here take a couple glowstone shards to get you started you'll need them to build the cauldron also take this healing solve it's the only one I got, but if you're going to be scrapping with those grunts, you're going to need it. You'll learn how to make more soon enough if you use that one up. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we got some shards. We got some glowstone shards. We got a healing solve. Now, I need to chop a tree. Can I chop this tree? No. What's in here? Oh! Be gone! Oh, I can chop the tree with a stick. Oh, amazing. Okay, we got leaf bundles. We got some wood. What's this? This looks like scrap. Uh, oh, we got an arrow. You know, it's probably good to get rid of this stuff anyway, so we can actually see what's going on here. Okay, I got lumber. Build a cleansing cauldron. Press C to enter build mode. All right. Uh, Q and E, select structure. Here's what you can select from the build structures available. Okay, cool. Can I just use my mouse? Oh, mouse Q E. Okay, cool. Uh, continue. So, 
let's go. oh you use this to place it okay so let's go ahead and just place this guy maybe right there for now <gasps> oh they're so cute little mandrakes what's up little dudes i'm here to help <gasps> they're like oh do you need something built i know how to do this that is so cool they like put their arms in the ground to build it they're like magical beings of amazement i love them nice work kid i knew you had it in you thanks uh now for the most important part using the cauldron you're gonna need to investigate this island a bit for a couple things juice boxes and bane berries get at least four of each walk up to the cauldron and toss them in soon the berries and juice will be cleansed and the drakes can chow down knowing they've got a meal waiting should show them you're not looking to do them harm okay all right so we got to get some supplies here um looks like we have a nice little map here so we need juice boxes and bane berries these look like bane berries right here bane berries okay uh let's just grab a bunch of them for now maybe these regrow i'm kind of hoping they regrow and then if i grab them all right now maybe they'll uh regrow by the time we need more later <laughs> i don't know all right what's up here juice boxes hello oh there's a trade i don't want i don't think i'm i don't think i'm ready for trade right now um i guess up in that house might be a good place to go Ooh, what are these yarrow uh what is this okay so what did i get oh juice box nice okay juice box had um blunderbuss shot shoelace blunderbuss that sounds exciting deal with those those ferals a little more effectively Oh, holy juice boxes galore. Oh, there's juice boxes everywhere. This is amazing. Okay, so it looks like this stuff is the stuff we can interact with. Lots of juice boxes. Jeez Louise. Okay, that's probably good. Uh, let's go back. I don't want to I don't want to gather any up too much stuff because maybe those chests will drop different things once we have other things unlocked. You know what I mean? So let's go over here. Let's throw these in the cauldron and uh we'll see what's going on the cleansing cauldron transforms bane berries blight shrooms and juice boxes into food and water for the drakes uh hold e to stock cauldron oh nice <gasps> oh look at they're like so happy like oh is that for me oh oh they're so delicious <laughs> they're so happy Womlet found woodcutter plus 30 percent uh crit environment oh so they have like their different little heads their little sprouts on them are different uh pipular found lucky 20 percent extra item drops oh nice okay let's visit the white crowd oh uh drake supplies so food waters down happiness i'm guessing or some kind of like playful happiness thing all right oh <laughs> food water entertainment <laughs> all right i was good i got it i was right uh amounts stockpiled uh, you're making more than you need. You're making less than you need. You're making exactly what you need. So wouldn't it be better to be making more than we need? Like always? Always making more than we need? I don't know. Let's see. Let's talk to the wise crow. Let's see what the wise crow has to say. The drakes weren't always like this. Their hearts are the same, but their minds aren't. Not since the Terminator came along and twisted the magic of this place to their will. With your help, we can restore the drakes, even send you home once they get their magic back. But before going off saving the world, we better finish tending to the drakes' basic needs. The drakes do don't just need food and water. They're going to need a place to sleep. Also, these folks can literally die of boredom. Oh, gosh. You're proving to be pretty crafty. I think you can help them with some sleeping spots and entertainment. Why don't you try to building the drakes a couple of thatched beds and poppets? You can get everything you need uh, for thatch beds from trees. As for poppets, look along shorelines for cattails and beat up some cars for upholstery. Mm, okay. So I already have some upholstery, I think. Uh, leave thatch beds and poppets around to prevent drakes from dying of boredom or exhaustion until you can build a more permanent structure. Without a place to sleep, a drake will return to hibernation. Make sure there's always enough beds or you'll see your population plummet. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Uh, there's some water. I can see cattails right there. And there's a car. <laughs> Was that the car that we found last time? Maybe. All right, let's grab these cattails. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got more berries. Let's grab these too. Might as well. 
All right, so we need upholstery from this car, which I already interacted with, so I can't get anything from that. Um, I think I have enough cattails, but I, I want to just keep looking around. Also, cars. That's the only car that I saw. Let's see if we can get some upholstery from something else. What's in here? Ah, upholstery scrap. We got some upholstery scrap. Is there anything in any, any of these? Doesn't look like it. See, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. We needed to make sure we probably waited. We probably got some before from before though too uh i bet we can get a pulse from not that this uh blunderbuss shot nice uh we got one more upholstery scrap all right let's see if we can go build some beds i have a little bit of upholstery scrap but not a lot all right so let's go into build mode uh charms oh what is this charms charms provide the magic necessary to produce curios and camp improvements interact with drakes collect charms use inspect to see how many each drake has happy drakes produce more charms and the more drakes in your village the larger pool you can collect okay so can i interact with you no let's just get some uh furniture entertainment no i want furniture uh thatched bed okay so let's get that guy oh i have to go i have to go i am um, okay so if I close this, can I interact with you guys? Hello. Oh, he's so cute. 15 charms collected, health restored, obtain buff, chance to find additional items. Oh, that's super cool. Oh. You're super cool. I love these things. Okay, no actions available. All right, Uh, right, let's see. Let's talk to this one. Uh oh, he's snoozing. Can you wake up for a second, buddy? I just want to talk to you. <gasps> What's up, dude? Chance to critical strike trees and brambles. Health collected. Uh, Okay, so I guess we'll... Oh, remove the lucky? You know what? Let's cancel that one. All right. These dudes are so darn cute. Okay, now we can do this because we have charms. Uh, Let's go ahead and place these relatively close by. Twigs and leaf bundles. Oh, I also need to make these poppets, huh? Okay, we'll place... Uh, we have two guys, so we'll place two of those down. Um, but I need twigs and leaf bundles. Okay, let's go Let's go smack some trees. Look at these guys going. Single use. Thatch beds last for one night. Poppets immediately add to entertainment and soon fall apart. Okay, so that's good to know. Let's see if we can smack some of this stuff. <gasps> oh, there's a note. We got a page. Uh, a page from the Journal of Noble Mason, a record of liminal transgressions. Here lies the full account and the events which plagues the goody folk of our fair town. I, Noble Mason, duly appointed head of Termineer Court, acted to halt the aggravation of the invisible world upon our populace, and in so doing, encountered witchery most foul. Interesting. Uh, oh, there's a bag right here. Can I interact with this bag directly? Nope. Smack it! Oh! I got a strong man hammer. Hold one to uh, open your equip menu. Oh. Average DPS, 31.2, two-handed, crude. Let's use that. Oh! All right, you know what? Let's see if we can uh, put another... Oh, it says leaf bundle. That. Oh, geez. Okay. So I'm building a second thatch bed. The other one's gone already. New quest, build beds and puppets. Okay, let's visit the wise crow. Let's see what's going on here. Look at that, they grow up so fast. Uh, so as you may have realized, supplies on this island are a bit limited. So about that situation, as you may have figured out, you're a little trapped on this island. Fear not, as uh, you almost most likely surmised, this isn't an unfixable solution. Like most problems in the hollow, you can build your own way out of this one. Take this schematic. You can use it to unlock the ancient and arcane art of building a curio workshop. Go ahead. Try building one. Uh, you're going to have to if you ever want to get out of this place. Okay, so uh, build a curio workshop. I don't see a curio workshop. Unlock. Oh, we have to unlock it with a scroll. Okay, unlock simple curio workshop. Spend one schematic to unlock it. Yes. All right, so let's put that like right here. 
and then let's see what's going on. Okay, so a curio workshop. Is this like recipes and stuff like that? Or maybe it's like more advanced stuff? Okay, uh, hold E, simple curio workshop. Let's check this thing out. A simple curio workshop is used for R&D of new curios. Useful gadgets and knickknacks. Once you've unlocked a recipe, you can always make more anywhere from your build menu. Okay, so once you make it in this, you can make it for in your, okay, all right. You don't have the stuff you need to make that. Oh, well, I must hit E on accident. Okay, so Aether Ward, a powerful ward that protects against the ill effects of Aether exposure. Redu resources needed is a lace and glowstone shard. Healing solve, don't need that right now. Uh, Aperithian charm, call upon the arcane energies within you to cease being where you are and to resume being back at camp. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's see, before we do anything, oh, they wants me to make the Aether Ward. Uh, Aether Ward. Uh, just one. Confirm. Okay. I've done it. Visit the Wise Crow. Okay, let's talk about this Aether Ward. That good feeling I had about you keeps getting better. I'm sorry to drag you into this, but all the things have gotten pretty desperate. There's still drakes out there who need your help. Climb that lighthouse up north and take a look and see. Keep an eye out for hibernating drakes along the way and grab any schematics you may find. Come back and talk to me once you've explored around there a bit. Okay, so we need to go to that lighthouse. Now, um, hold on. That Aether Ward thingy, do I have like a uh, outfit? Hat, shirt, pants, shoes, log, bag. Does that, do I have? I crafted it, but what was it? Okay, so here's the map currently. All right, it's undiscovered. But what was that Aether Ward thing that I just did? Log, activity quest, help messages, the build menu, da 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 da, charms, crafting, curious. Mm, I don't know. Weird. Can I craft it from here though? Nope, camp this. Craft, crafting, furniture, entertainment, no. Curio crafting, Aether Ward. Powerful ward that protects against the ill effects of aethered exposure. Current stockpile. Oh, I have three of them. Interesting. So does that mean that if we get too far out, we're going to have like issues? Like, is there like a toxic thingy? Oh, we need to put more food in this pot. Let's put some more food in here. More food and water, I guess. All right. Stock the cauldron. Full food, full water. Uh, they're not still not happy, though. But I don't really have the stuff. Okay, hopefully they'll hang out for a little bit as we uh, go out and explore some more. Because I don't know if I have enough stuff to make any more puppets. And I'd like to make some more, like, permanent kind of stuff, you know? Wait, how do I get over there? Do I have to swim? Surely I don't swim. Like, that water does not even look good at all. I might have to swim. I think I have to swim over there. Maybe that's what the, um, the, the ward, Aether Ward thing protects me against? Build an Aether Ward or Aether Waypoints at a curio shop to traverse the Aether. I, I just did that. Oh. But I built an Aether Ward. It said I had three. Let's revive at the camp. See, I don't understand that. Okay, so wait, how do I equip it then? Oh, Aether Ward. Mm hmm. Wait, so how do I. How do I use it? Inventory empty. Oh, Curios! Aether Ward. Oh, I see! Okay, all right, so now. <laughs> I just died. That's fantastic. Uh, We're going over here. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so, uh, three, Q, hold. Okay, so, Aether Ward, so I should be able to go through here? I don't feel like that worked. Uh-oh. Oh! It almost got me. How do I get over there, though? How do I use the thing? <laughs> oh! You have to press, oh, hold Q to use it. Look at that. Okay, and then you can walk right through the, the stuff. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, it's not water. It's like fog. It's aether. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, we figured it out. Don't worry. I am here for you. All right. What do we got over here? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a little mandrake. Hold E to wake Drake. Come on, buddy. 
my guy? Aren't you so cute? Uh, raise the effects of Aether Corruption for longer? Uh, no. Uh, Chemor found. Aether resistant. Plus one. Camp increased. Nice, nice. What's this? What did we get? I don't know what those were. What were those? I don't know. Were those like the, the, like the, the, the scrolls or schematics or something maybe? Uh oh, we got a baddie. We got a grunt. Yeah, darn grunt. Okay, so we need to go up there. So we're gonna have to use another Aether Ward to get across. So let's do it. Location discovered. Aether infestation zero. You're gone, son. Now, I'm sure the enemies get a whole heck of a lot harder. Oh, these are like building blocks. Oh, interesting. I wonder if those respawn. Um, I'm sure the enemies get a whole lot harder, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? There's a, a juice box. We got some more of this material. Oh, we got a bag. What's in the bag? Weed sprayer. Okay. Uh, butter churn. How come I feel like the butter churn is actually a weapon? <laughs> I definitely feel like that's what it is. Uh, oh, we got some more crystals right here. Let's grab all this. Oh, we got a bow. <gasps> nice. <gasps> What's this? We got a schematic. Hold to use weed sprayer. I'm not going to use that yet. What is that? We got a pro chef cleaver. <gasps> What's this? Hold E to gaze. Is this going to like unlock, like open the map? Oh, it's, I bet you those little, those little things right there are different types of things. Like either, uh, like, um, useful things or like more, more drakes maybe. Bad news, kid. Looks like all this activity has caught the eye of the local grunt population. Best get back to camp ASAP. Oh, shoot. All right, let's go. Hold on, let's grab this stuff, though. All right, we better get going. Does that, do I have, like, a timer or anything saying, like, how long before my camp is, like, invaded? Because I know there's, um, I know there's, like, whoop. Okay, we're fine. I know there's, like, camp invasions or whatever. So it's a little bit, little bit wave defensey. I got a kyanite shard. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and use the aether crystal. Shoot. I need to go straight back to this one. How long do I have? Ten, nine. Okay, I gotta get back over here because this is the um, my last shard that I have. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna die. No, I was so close. Incoming raid. Revive at camp. Raid attack. Uh, I want the cleaver. Yeah. Get out of here. Oh, those are level fours. Okay. Anybody else attacking? Oh my gosh. What in the absolute tarnations is this? It's a stalker. I think it's terrifying looking. Got a glowstone. And a chest. Uh, melee weapons at max capacity. Okay, uh, can I talk to you? Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, we need to get a bed for these guys. Raise the effects of an author. Uh, I don't need that. Okay. All right. Let's talk to the crow. You've proven it. No doubt. You've got what it takes. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to rebuild this place. <laughs> you find a schematic out there? If so, you can use it to get building. Once you build things up a bit... That should catch the Terminator's eye, draw them out. You rebuild, take care of the Terminator, and that should snap the Drakes out of their funk, get their magic back. Once that happens, they send you home, simple as that. I warned you, it might be a one-way trip, but I think you got this. Here's a little gift to get you started. Fire up this apparition charm if you need to scoot back to camp in a rush. Oh, nice. I have that. I don't know what that thing just said, darn it. Reach camp level four, build a village. Yoga ball, we well in a bed. All right, so let's get into build mode here. Um, oh, actually, hold on, Curia, we need to go into here. Actually, let's go ahead and drop off, uh, stock the cauldron. 
And then we need to go into here to see what we unlocked. Okay, Aether Ward, Healing Solve, Apparition Charm, Waypoint, Glowstone, Dowsing Rod, Arrow, Blunderbuss Shot, Hot Torch, Decoy, Proximity Mine, da 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 Okay, I don't see, maybe it is in Hibernating Drake's Found. Press M to open map. <gasps> Wait, so where's the hibernating Drake? Gas on the go. That place, that place. But it doesn't... Oh! Oh! <gasps> this place is massive! Hibernating Drake there, there, and there. Okay. Alright, we got things to do. Oh my gosh, we got things to do. So let's go ahead. Let's, uh, let's get into building here. Entertainment, furniture... Huh. I don't know where I get leaf bundles from. Where the heck... Is it, is it the weed sprayer? Press to block. Okay, multiplayer now available for this realm. Press escape to invite friends. <gasps> awesome. I think this is for like these weeds right here, like the big nasties. And I'm gonna guess we need that for other things. But how do I get leaves? I still don't know how to get leaf bundles. Why is this so hard? I don't feel like I should have to, like, leaf bundle. I should be able to get that from, like, literally anything. I'm thinking leaf bundles just come from trees. So I'm just going to harvest a whole bunch of trees and see. Oh, yep, there was a leaf bundle. You know, go figure as soon as I say that. Also, if you press and hold, if you press and hold E before you finish, like, before you chop down the tree, like, if I press and hold E right now and then chop down the tree, I basically collect everything before it gets to the ground, which is fantastic, actually. <laughs> it makes it super nice. Oh, look at I got a little dude. Oh, he's so cute. These guys are so darn cute. Oh, I got charms collected. Health restored. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Oh, this guy has a gift. Hello, dude. Charms collected. Obtain buff. Uh, resist for, uh, revex of aether corruption for a little bit longer. I don't really, uh, obtain gift. Receive Drake's gift. Yes. Quartz shard. Oh, thank you, buddy. That's so darn cute. Okay, so now let's get some uh, let's get some things going. Schematics. I thought I unlocked. Did I unlock any new schematics? Okay, so we need to do. We got to build a village. Build a uh, yoga ball well in a bed. I don't feel like I have any of those. <laughs> uh, camp level one. Build improvements. Curio crafting. I don't really see anything in here. And there's nothing else furniture or entertainment related. So let's just build some beds here. For those guys. That's what we need leaf bundles for. And then entertainment. There's those. Okay, so I guess, are they happy? Like, I don't know. What's up, dudes? Improvement budget, two of one, base and build improvements. I feel like I'm missing something here. What am I missing here? Hold the stock cauldron. So maybe I need, hold on, what's in my bag? Okay, there's that. I thought I picked up a, I thought I picked up a schematic. Did I not pick up a schematic? Huh. What's this? Let's use depot. Oh! Wait, so that means I can put stuff in there. Oh, nice! Okay, so let's transfer all. Because I don't need that right now. Uh, let's just go ahead and transfer a lot of this stuff out of my inventory. So that way we can have more stuff later. Transfer that. We'll keep that. We'll keep the bow. Chair leg, I don't need that. Glowstone, probably not. That stuff. Quartz shard, probably not right now because I don't know what I'm doing with it. High knight shard, no thank you. Malachite shard, probably not. Um, and Twigs. We'll transfer those as well. Okay. All right, so we'll do that. Now, how do I build more stuff? Learn more recipes at the Curious Workshop. Need more supplies? Visit Magpie's, work Magpie's place. Curious workshop. Was there a uh, was there like a base tab on this one? Build an advanced curio shop to unlock these. 
But I don't think my base has gone up. Has my base gone up at all? Camp. Hunger, thirst, boredom, sleep. Camp XP is plus 10. So I guess I just have to go out and get some more stuff. What do, what do, what do you want me to talk to you about? Hey, you're building a regular downtown over there. Now it's time for you to learn something more important about this place. Uh-oh. Even the drakes, everything good that lives here, it's symbiotic. The more mature they get, the more their power will follow you. Here's what you got to do. Find some crystals out there in the wilderness. Once you find some, you can use them to grow a drake. Each drake is hungry for a specific type of crystal, so make sure to match them up. Grow a drake with a crystal. Okay. Uh, advance a drake to adolescence. Do do I... Can I talk to you, bud? No? Okay, can I talk to one of you? How do I know what crystal you want? Uh, energy crystal is a moonstone. Do I have any kind of crystals, though? I have glowstone shards. Healing solve. What did I just put in the, uh, the depot? The depot. Quartz shard, kyanite shard, malachite shard. There's no crystals, though. Okay. Hmm. Let's go look at this magpie's place and see what's over here. Hello, welcome to Magpie's Emporium. If you've got shiny objects, I'm exactly the sort of cultured aficionado that you should be speaking with. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, here we go. Uh, sell items, items in stock. Oh, so, I, okay, that was fabric and stone. Rubber, glowstone, charge, juice, box, cabbage seed, ducks. Yes! So we can grow food as well. Uh, I don't need any of that stuff right now. Okay, so that's all that stuff. So I need more schematics, I think. And it also looks like I have mail of some sort. Like, how do I have mail? Who's my mail? Where's the mails? Oh, to raise your camp level, you must either find drakes hibernating in the wilderness or increase the age of the drakes in the village through the application of crystals. Higher level camps allow you to build more improvements and better meet the needs of your drakes. That's what I need. All right, so we need to go out and find some crystals because I don't think I found any crystals yet. So, um, drakes look good except for water is like gone. So we need to go grab some juice boxes and stuff. Okay, let's see if we can go. Good gosh. Does this stuff respawn? Like, is is this thing respawned yet? Because I don't have any more. I don't think I have any more juice boxes. I don't. This is not good. All right, you know what? Let's go explore this island thing over here. Oh, you know what? This is where I came from. What am I doing? So I think bane berries are food. So I think I need juice boxes. <laughs> How am I supposed to get more juice boxes? I feel like I really need to start growing food. Uh oh, hello, dude. Goodbye. Looks like this island's pretty much done for. I mean, I could go out and get all the wood and stuff like that, but like, I just, I don't feel like I need that. I feel like I need to get food and water for my little dudes first. Cause we have 10, 12 and 15, but we are not meeting the needs currently. Okay, I got two more juice boxes. I found a box. Uh, apparently we don't, weren't done with the house. Also, you can just press and hold E and just like run past stuff to collect it, which is <laughs> so much better, trust me. Ooh. There's a tra ah, it's in the middle of the water, though. Or the aether. I wonder if we could still explore it, though. Like, if we had the charm on, I wonder if we could still, like, actually go out there and explore it. Because it's not water. It's it's like a deadly fog. <laughs> All right, so that's good. That's good. That's good. Now, uh, somebody, I believe... Do we have a... Um, where was that waypoint thing at? Waypoint. Uh, you don't have the stuff that you need to make that. I need two glowstones and duct tape. Uh, collect, connect supply trucks to your camp to collect building materials, uh, using this handy device. So I am, I believe the waypoints are almost like magical zip lines, if you will. And, uh, allow us to like travel between like places like super quick, like over, like if we go to say a different Island, we could actually travel over the aether and, uh, not have to worry about it. We just like shoot, shoot straight over there. So I think it's like a quick traveling method, but I needed, uh, I need a duct tape, and I don't know... Duct tape requires 14? Oh my goodness. And what do I have? Does it say that I have any? Is what I'm curious. I have... Sell items. I have 65 worth? Like, I want to buy duct tape. Wait. What, how much did I buy? How do I know what I bought? Like, where's the thing that says, like, shiny? How much shiny do I have? 
I don't know how much shiny I have. But I bought the duct tape. Okay. Uh, not gonna ask questions. I don't know where I got the shiny from. <laughs> no idea! Uh, can we make the thing now, though? No, I'm missing a glowstone. Hold on. Let's, uh, I think I have a glowstone in here. Do I have a glowstone? Yes, I do. Alright, so let's make that. Uh, waypoint. Wait, what? Oh, it counts the ones in your, uh, in your, your depot. Oh. Okay, so I need more glowstone. I have a lot of glowstone shards, though. Is there anything I can do with a glowstone shard? I guess the Aether Ward. We probably should make some of these. Uh, that makes three. Let's make another batch. That's giving me six. Healing solve. Okay, so that's the Yarrow and Skull Cap. That's what that's for. All right, so let's make one of those. Uh, Apparition Charm. Uh, let's make another one of those just to be safe. So, glowstone. Okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. But that's good in this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Look at how happy these guys are. Look at how happy they are. Um, make sure if you're new here, make sure you leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Also, make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified as well. Chance to critically strike trees and brambles. Uh, no, thank you. I don't want a woodcutter one right now because we're not doing woodcutting stuff. What are you guys doing? Oh, you guys are so cute. They're so cute. But yes, this is Drake Hull. I'll have a link down, uh, down below for it. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!